What's up, Kevin? Hey, Fred, how you doing, man? Pretty good, how you been? Good, good. Hey, guys, we got Fred Williams here from Peterson's Four Wheel and Off Road Magazine. He's the editor hey. to a great book, something that I've actually followed for quite a while. And we've got a great truck behind us, but we're gonna get to that in a second. First, Fred, tell us and people that are watching what you're doing. We build a lot of cool vehicles. This is the vehicle we built for this year's Ultimate Adventure trip. Now, yeah. Ultimate Adventure is a week-long road trip, but not like a normal road trip where you're all piled into an old van and going right. somewhere. We take giant built 4x4s, and every other day we go four-wheeling. So we'll drive somewhere, maybe yeah. 500 miles, 700 miles on one day. Yeah. Then the next day we'll go four-wheeling all day. Like, we get into some gnarly stuff, as you can see. This wow. used to be Obviously. a perfectly straight truck, uh -huh. but we went on a wheeling trip for the week, put a few dents and dings in it, then we bring it here to SEMA to show it off so everybody can see what we Absolutely. do. Well, I love the battle scars, man. And obviously, if you're doing that kind of wheeling, you've got a caravan, you've got onboard tools, you've got wheelers and guys that, that have some experience under their belt that know how to fix things and do trail repairs on the fly, right? Oh, yeah. Um, every year, we have a bunch of guys that are called the cronies. They're kind of like the guys we bring back every year. They're unpaid volunteers that we've been using for years, and they come along and help us keep everybody moving. It's a, it's a road trip of about 20 vehicles. We have readers, we have great sponsors, yeah. we have these crony guys and their staff. Um, and every year we build a vehicle specifically for that event. This year we started with a 1990 Dodge. Now yeah. this truck is a Cummins diesel Dodge, but this was actually a two-wheel drive. Okay. It used to be used as an airplane tug to pull airplanes around at an airport. Yeah. And the wheelbase was only about the front wheel is there, the rear wheel is right here. Yeah. In order to get it to look like this, we took it to Pacific Fabrication, we stretched the frame, we put this box on it off yeah. of a military trailer, um, full cage, full custom suspension. The, it wasn't four wheel drive, so yeah. it now has a manual transmission yeah, and a transfer yeah. case, big Dana 80 axles from Dynatrack. Uh -huh. And so we stuffed all this stuff together and it was a cool looking truck when we were finished. Yeah but we wanted it to really pop in front of cameras and Absolutely. out on the trail. Yeah. That's why it's painted Hugger Orange. Yeah, the Eastwood Hugger Orange, and it looks good. And this is a new door, right? Oh yeah, this is the one thing we did repair. Well, <laughs> these are new <laughs> mirrors and new doors, because this whole door, by the end of the trip, you yeah. couldn't open it. Yeah. My co-pilot had to climb in and out, but it was on his side of the truck, so I blame him. So exactly. he had to well, climb it's his in fault it. for not spotting correctly. Right. right. Plus, it's a Mopar. Exactly. It's orange. Uh huh. The Duke boys had an orange Mopar, and they had to climb in the window. Hey, so, so you're playing on some tradition. Well, to sure. me, it looks like it's like maybe like your version of an old power wagon. Is that right? Uh, yeah, you could say that. I yeah. mean, it's a diesel, which everybody loves a yeah. diesel. Is it a 12 valve? Yep, yep, 12 valves, so it yep. runs off of like two wires. Well, two wires and you could pee in and it would oh, still yeah. keep running. So. And it'll take you anywhere. It's got a ton of torque. Yeah. Even with big 40-inch nittos, it has yeah. no problem climbing up the trail. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we use a lot of sponsors every year to kind of get a lot of different products on it. Like Off-Road Design has their transfer case. The guys from BDS do a lot of great suspension work. Yep. Yeah. Warren has been with us a long time. Yeah. And we put a winch on the front of every truck we build because... Well, you have to. Oh, yeah, you we're going to get for, stuck. For recovery, not only with your own rig, but other rigs that are ended up in some gully or something, you want to be able to pull your buddies out. Oh, yeah, and going. it's not like we are going to just go and not get stuck. We're yeah. going to keep going until we are stuck, and you're like, all right, well, now let's know. get through this. So I want to I want to thank all of our sponsors. We've always had some. Absolutely. We've always had really good guys. Eastwood came on this year to talk to us about their welders. Of course, their paint, their chassis black that we because yeah. we rebuilt the whole chassis, so we wanted to spray that down. And then there's a couple bags of tools in there. You always need tools. Eastwood supplies all types of hand tools, so we got tools with us. Yeah. So this truck has been dialed. It's ready to go wheeling. Yeah. Um, it's all pretty now. We actually spent a ton of money getting it prepped again. Yeah. Repainted the chassis after it got scratched and bashed. Yeah. Had it detailed and. Part of our plan here is you can notice this black rock rail that runs all the way around the truck. Yeah, the yeah. goal was to be able to lean into boulders and rocks on Absolutely. this well, instead of the body. Yeah. But of course, the plan doesn't always go according to plan. So. What do you mean? I don't uh, know what you're talking about. That was a um, grocery cart. We just stopped to get some <laughs> breakfast one morning. Well, and I came beer. out and smashed into the thing. Stock up the beer in the cooler, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, but now we're kind of outfitting it more as camping adventure truck. We threw a couple mountain bikes in the back, put yep. a rooftop tent in there. Um, you could put some surfboards or snowboards. This truck is going to be dialed to do just about anything any time yeah. of the year you want to Tell go. me about the transfer case. Is it a stock T case or Atlas? Oh no, this doing? is a, it's a Magnum 205 from Off-Road Design yeah. and an NV4500 from ATS in front of it. Okay. So it's all gearboxes. There's no automatic transmission. There's no automatic transmission coolers to worry yeah. about. No computers. There's not a computer on this thing. Well, if it's not on my cell phone, valve, right? it doesn't need it. So yeah, yeah. 
my, the plan was just build this thing simple. This thing is big, yep. tough. It's like a rolling orange anvil going down the trail. <laughs> like I want to be able to pound stuff off of it and not yep. really worry about it. Yeah. Well, it's got to weigh 5,000 pounds with that chassis. And uh, it's right? weighs more than that. Oh, okay, okay. But more it's got a uh, 5.9 Cummins. It's been hopped up by the guys from Power Products. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it'll turn these tires no problem. Is it is stock turbo? Uh, no, the Banks guys did some work to the turbo. Okay, okay. so now we're telling the whole story. Oh, it's yeah. Not, yeah it's, it's, no, you don't want to leave anything alone. Well, no, like, there's nothing. Not. I think the only thing stock is the cab yeah. and the engine block. Yeah. Maybe the radiator. I well, think everything else we've gone through, changed it. People don't realize the amazing strength of that 12-valve engine. It's basically a, a, like a tractor engine oh, yeah. that, uh, that they put in street vehicles. Sure. And with and some mechanical upgrades, that you can really, really make them, make them shine. No, this thing's a tractor. Yeah. It's a big orange. <laughs> This should be Kubota orange instead of Hugger orange, because I mean, yeah. this thing rocks like a tractor up the trail. Yeah, well, maybe we can do a new color name, throw a tint in there, and it's, yeah. now it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's Fred Williams orange. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Thanks for talking to us. This sure is thing. awesome, dude. Have a good show. Okay, you too. Take care.